Welcome back to another Lions War video. We got four Loki versus Absolute Chaos. I think they were called Space before, and they banned Falcon, Kitty, and Ghost this war. Um, I have Professor X, Omega Sentinel, and White Magneto. I am on Path 5 in Section 1. This is a war for me to uh, get back on my feet and forget about last war. I, uh, I really kind of got in my own head last war. It was definitely a learning experience after having a streak of 119 and just having things cascade, um, you know, with failure after failure after failure. So here I thought a lot about my fights and how I wanted to take them and I figured I could use, um, I was supposed to use Professor X here and uh, the White Magneto you know, pre-fight, but I, I, I could have and just heavy countered, but Wags is just fine, and I can use him for this. He does good damage. He benefits from the mutant boost, which I'm going to be getting. So it's just slow and steady. Bait his SP1, knock him down to get the Fury. Throw my SP2 with the Fury up, and you see it does good to bit of damage. Here, I'm just going to bait the SP1 and then just heavy him and kill him. The next fight was a Mordo fight on Heavy Unstoppable, Ebb and Flow Knockdown. Um, I did replace a White Magneto pre-fight, and I used Professor, Professor X. And uh, I ended up tanking an SB3 with an indestructible boost. It was all part of the plan in case he did go red. I just failed to record it. So here's a uh, screenshot of um, Mordo dying from a different war. Wasn't Omega Sentinel that I used for this um, at all. Although I guess she could work um, as well. But that's that. The next fight was the shared mini on 456. It's a sassy on ebb and flow knockdown with prowess puncture. Not prowess puncture, prowess buildup and debuff immunity on knockdown. And here the plan is to use Professor X. I'm using a power start one boost because I want to get to my special three cycle as soon as possible. Because I used Professor X for Mordo and I have Omega Sentinel on the team, I am now at three persistent charges instead of just two. So she helps uh, ramp myself up. Now here I was still a little bit nervous. I missed that parry. I just want to make sure I, you know, I, I dash away and just kind of reset. And here I'm just going at it. I've taken the sassy on the ebb and flow intercept many, many times, and he's more difficult there uh, because you're not doing any damage until you get your intercept. Here I'm just parry heavy to, to ramp up my charges, and uh, everything is basically uh, you know, sweet. Now there I missed the parry, and he, you know, my falter kind of protected me, but I didn't want that. I'd rather have had the. Uh, knockdown so here i'm raiding out waiting out wrath and um, i'm gonna get in the corner which is fine i just can't get heavy so i'm like okay and here i just want to push him out and get one more heavy and get and get the uh fury up heavy charge into my special three and that should uh that should end this sassy so um next up i am on path four this time and i'm taking the uh spider ham who's a global uh, attacker so basically anytime there's a debuff I have a 30% chance to um, glance and if there's three debuffs on me on that path um, I he goes unblockable so X is a global uh, attacker so I can have detox charges up so the plan basically is to just parry heavy and heavy counter his SP1 if he is unblockable I can just heavy counter and the deck scene actually will make me debuff detox so I can get rid of all my uh, debuffs at any point. So I just have to, uh, you know, parry heavy to ramp up. I'm fully, uh, I'm fully maxed at this point. So I'm like, okay. Um, luckily the, um, the, the 25 uh, mini was uh, taken down so I could use my mutant boost all the way through these fights. And here I heavy counter a special one. And I just want to make sure that I have a detox charge up. You see how it clears the pop, uh, pork popper? And I'm like, okay, it cleared that as well. That's good. And here I want him to uh, throw his, uh, his special uh, one. He does. And I want to, uh, there, I didn't have um, a detox charge up. So the taunt is on me, which is fine. I cleared it right there. And uh, at this point, I am ready to throw my special three. I'm just trying to create some spacing. I throw it. And that's all she wrote for this spam. The next fight was the Claire, where I died uh, last war on path four in section one. She gained a massive fury, so I am not gonna lie, I did have some nerves going into it, but I just wanted, I just told myself to stick, stick to it. Um, stick to the plan and just parry heavy. I have an indestructible boost on in case something goes wrong. 
and I just need to get to my special three and the fight is essentially over. So obviously with Claire, there's the MD factor when I dex and stuff. So that's what I'm considering. But I check out the notes and uh, I look at everything and I go in and let's see how this goes. So right off the bat, um, she dashes away, which is not what I want, right? And I see here that I need to basically hit her consistently so the crumbling armor does not eat up my detox charge. Um, but everything seems to be going uh, fine. She has a special one. I dex it and I clear that heal block debuff. And there I reset the crumbling armor timer. At this point, I'm feeling really good. Um, she threw a special one. I'm at 90 charges. I know I can get to 100, and I'm like, okay, perfect. So if she throws a special one right here, um, I'm deep up detox now, and I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm going to just bait this out, and I have no, um, oh, there we go. I want to get rid of the armor break, and then I throw the special uh, three, and I'm like, all right, perfect. And uh, that was basically it. Didn't lose any health. Um, this is going to be a special 3 spam. I had to wait until the uh, boss was open. I was on boss duty after my horrendous, horrendous war. It is a spot boss. He is a uh, global attacker and anytime on the boss node you have 3 or more debuffs, you're also unblockable. I hate, hate being cornered. So my, my first plan of attack is to always create spacing in war and spot you can't beat his block and uh, push him backwards, unfortunately. Um, oh, first I had this Havoc, which I also was actually overthinking because of Crumbling Armor. I did not want to lose my uh, my uh, armor and then have something detonate, so I was assigned a, a Nimrod. Uh, you know, we assigned that at first, but after, you know, thinking about the synergy that I get with uh, Omega Sentinel with X and Wags, and I wanted the ability to, to basically... Um, get an armor up at will. You see that I get two every time I do the same basic hit per her mechanics. And I was like, okay, this is just gonna be a lot safer because her attacks aren't energy unless I do the second medium or heavy. So this, I just need to basically land some intercepts. I have an indestructible boost. You see that the crumbling armor only will remove one of my armor ups as well. So that was good to see. And uh, here I'm just kind of slow playing it. I have I have recoil on just for more damage as uh, as I'm hitting him with uh, protection. You see that I don't have the, the fury up, and he's already at 80%. And I'm like, okay, I'm at an SP3. I get an intercept there, and I'm going to throw it. I also threw tech boost on just just because I needed a bounce back war. I just I wanted to be able to, to maximize my damage. It's my only Omega Sentinel fight, so. Um, did quite a bit of chunk, and I'm like, okay. Now, here we go, and he throws a special three. Here you see the crumbling armor um, removes one of my armor ups, but I still have the rest. So I'm feeling good when I saw that, and I'm like, okay. At this point, I'm thinking if I um, if I have an opening for there we go. I'm gonna throw my special two. If I get an intercept, I'm gonna throw my special two, and I did. So I do a little more damage, and I throw this, and it does quite a substantial amount of damage and I'm already at another special two so I'm gonna bait out one special uh no no I'm gonna kill him with this last one because I had a quick intercept and that's all Shiro so back to spot it, he uh he has some weird mechanics where you can't push him back when he's blocking and you know and then when he goes untouchable if you make any contact with him via you hit his block or he hits yours he places ruptures on you so the plan basically is to heavy counter twice he's under a bar of power and then use my falter to really ramp up my uh, my uh my mind control charges and use a power star one boost to get to my special three as soon as possible so i don't get in any craziness with ruptures on me um, ideally the detox charges will cleanse any of those so here you can see that i use my falter to to ramp up i'm at 96 charges i'm like okay um, here I want to throw this special one if possible, but I want to push him. I want to get power here. So the plan is to, um, here he throws a quick uh, SB1 uh, after a heavy. So I'm like, ah, oh, I blocked it all. I'm okay. Then he dexes my, um, my, my medium and I'm like, all right, well, let's push me into this corner. I'm a heavy char heavy counter that. Perfect. Now I'm in the corner. I'll, I'll take block damage and throw a special, uh, three and I'm good at this point. I don't get the extra prowess from heavy charging into it. 
but it's really not that necessary. Um, I max, uh, I max ramped right here. But something about Professor X that I don't really quite understand. You see that this special three did a substantial amount of damage. I have a horseman added as well per um, someone else who threw it on here, which I don't know if it's necessary, but I'm definitely not going to take it or deny the horseman help. Um, you see, I'm special three spamming, and then the next special three. I'm like, okay, perfect, and this 20% uh, damage as well. It doesn't kick me to a special three, and I don't know why it's not doing so. Um, it kicks me to a special two, which I don't understand, um, and he ends up blocking it, and uh, the next one kills me. Um, I wasn't really worried there. I had quite a few specials, and I had quite a bit of time on my mind control. But that was the war. Um, it was good to get a bounce back war and get a um, get a win uh, under uh, under our belt. We are five in one for the uh, season, and um, things are going well. We had a few uh, we had disconnect and some other stuff. So shout out to the MVPs, B McG, Karate Mike, and uh, I got one as well. And uh, I will see you guys in the next war.